over there. I know I said like a long time ago that I was going to do a reading vlog for The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but then I got busy with college apps and stuff, so I never ended up filming it. I'll like reborrow it and hopefully you'll eventually see that because I still really want to read the book. But um, I don't know, I've just been kind of itching to read lately. So yeah, we're gonna film a reading vlog. I'm like super excited to read this because I've heard so many good things. And that book is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I think I've mentioned this in like my other videos, but like I love Colleen Hoover's books. And I heard that this one was super, super good. So I'm like really excited to read it. So I guess I'm gonna just like take you guys along on my reading journey and let you guys like see like my reactions and stuff like as I read the book. So let's open it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, all right, first line. Somebody stabbed you in the neck, young lady. <laughs> okay interesting i don't really know what this book is about I, I didn't read the back so um yeah i'm just gonna read okay so i think we just met the main guy and i don't know he's sounding a little bit questionable Okay, so he already knows her name, even though it's their first time meeting. Hmm. So there's this random drunk guy who's just sleeping in front of her brother's apartment. And is this the main guy or is the guy in the elevator the main guy? No, because I relate with Tate so much. And she says, it's too bad he's wasted. He's not bad looking. Like that's literally me. Oh my God. That just went from zero to 100 so quick. Okay, Corbin is literally like her dad. So much respect for Tate. Like, yes, girl, you go pursue your education. You go get your career. You are an independent woman. She says she's going to try her best to avoid relationships. We know that's not happening. At first, I think he's about to get sick. But then I realize how incredibly wrong I am. He's not sick. He's crying. Hard. So hard he isn't even making a sound. Hey there, it is the next day. I wasn't able to get past chapter one yesterday night because I got distracted. And so I'm just gonna be eating my breakfast and I'm gonna get started on chapter two. And hopefully I can read um, more today. starting over is actually really cute it's like she wants to hate him and she dislikes him but she, of course she's like attracted to him <laughs> oh my god this is the kind of thing that happens in like k dramas i look back at rachel rachel looks at me i can't fall in love with you rachel her eyes are sad my thoughts are sadder and you can't fall in love with me. She slowly walks inside, avoiding my gaze as she watches her feet with every step. They're the saddest steps I've ever seen taken. I close the door. It's the saddest door I've ever had to close. Tate is such a girl boss. Oh my god. He smiled! She made him smile. <gasps> Never mind, he didn't actually smile, but he was about to smile saying why did she just say that mm. he smiled he smiled oh my god oh my gosh i'm living for these like little moments of skinship that just like ah! two weeks mm. i know they barely know each other but i feel so bad for them there is no way this is going to end well. Hello there. I took a break and um, took a nap. I am up to chapter nine. We're back to Tate's point of view. Um, so far, I'm really liking the book. I don't think I love it as much as the others. But I also think part of it has to do with the fact 
that it's kind of like two stories at once but yeah that's just where i am right now um but i'm only at chapter 9 um page 70 and there's like a whole lot of this book left so i'm gonna keep reading oh my god oh my god things are happening things are happening the tension between them is so thick right now come on like just 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 get together already are they they're 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 agreeing to be like friends with benefits right like that's what's happening and they're like no relationship just the physical stuff but like that 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 it never works out well trust me never works out well this is gonna be so messy stop 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 her dad her dad walked in on them just kissing though just kissing though nothing past that yeah i feel embarrassed for them no but why are they so cute oh my gosh bro i brought a boyfriend what the heck i hate his two rules I don't like them. They're definitely gonna break them, okay? Like, they better break them and fast because I don't like them. Is it weird to say that I relate with Tate so much? <laughs> like, so he's like telling her, like, oh, these are my two rules. You have to follow them. And she's like, okay, well, I only have one rule. And then she thinks about it and she can't think of a rule. And then she says, I don't know what it is yet, but when I think of it, you have to follow it. <laughs> That's literally so me energy. Oh my God just read about his little thing with Rachel and like how they set up rules for themselves too and like mm, I don't know both of these relationships are like so dangerous right now Tate's dad is so funny <laughs> their parents are gonna be in the house for an entire weekend and you already know what that means I think their rule number two is gonna get broken tonight what what if Am I allowed to say that? Is that a spoiler? What if what if them breaking rule number two was really successful and Oh no. I should tell him my one rule has just become stop doing things that make me want to break your rules. Cap is the most wholesome character in this entire book. He's just so sweet and so cute, like Buying curtains and a rug. I love how he ends most of his questions with my name. I love how he says my name. I should require him to say my name every time he speaks to me. Me and Tate, we're literally the same. We're the same person. We're literally the same person. They're holding hands. My God, I'm so single. He said, I like kissing you, Tate. Stop. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <gasps> He's so sweet. Oh my god. I don't have a good feeling about this. Okay, so here's an update. I was reading while eating dinner. I'm on... I'm almost up to chapter 18. And I feel so stupid because I did not connect... The Ian from Miles' point of view with the Ian from Tate's point of view. And it finally clicked that they were the same person. I was like, oh, yeah, that made me feel really dumb. But other than that, you know, Tate and Miles, they're having their little secret relationship. But it's not a relationship. But it's basically a relationship. Like, come on. Also, like, I heard that Colleen's, like, book covers make a lot of sense in regards to the story and i don't really know i kind of have a few guesses in my head and i'm really hoping that they aren't right but i guess we'll see no oh my god no i knew this was gonna happen oh my god dylan needs to get out i don't know why they're allowing him to hang out around them like no no one likes him just like he, he needs to go he just needs to go i don't think this is going to end well guys miles and tate's relationship is low-key giving me like 
a really like a tiny little bit resemblance to Lily and Riles from It Ends With Us and I hate that. He's apologizing. I hate that I relate with Tate so much. I don't know, it just feels like she's me and I'm her. My heart hurts for her because I completely understand like what she's feeling and it's like <sighs> What the heck? No. No, 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 no. Was this supposed to happen like this? What? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. I can't handle this. Stop. Stop. One right after the other. I. No. I. Oh. He didn't. He did not just say that. Why is she just like putting up with the. Oh, okay. The thing is, I want so badly to like be angry with her for just like taking all of this but then at the same time i understand how she feels so i can't even be fully mad because i'm like <sighs> i know it's his choice and he can do whatever he wants with his life and his feelings and stuff but like miles like why good i say and when it becomes too hard for either of us we'll end it for good I'm not worried about it becoming too hard for me, he says. I'm worried about it becoming too hard for you. I'm worried about me too, Miles. But I want the here and now with you a whole lot more than I care about how it will affect me in the end. What are these mixed signals? Everything is too good right now. I'm kind of scared. Stop. 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 Please do not let it be what I think it is. No. Everything with Miles will come crashing down. It's inevitable. He's so adamant about the things he doesn't want out of life, and I'm starting to understand just how serious he is. So as much as I try to protect my heart from him, it's pointless. He's going to break it eventually, yet I continue to allow him to fill it. Every time I'm with him, he fills my heart up more and more, and the more it's filled with pieces of him, the more painful it'll be when he rips it out of my chest as though it never belonged there in the first place. He's crying. He's breaking. That did not just happen. No. Stop. <laughs> Wait, I need a minute to process. I feel so bad for her. Oh my god. I reached chapter 36. And now we finally get to see Miles' point of view. Present day. I love Ian. And Cap. I love them both. Are we gonna finally meet Rachel? Oh my god. Oh my god. Chapter 37 is in Rachel's point of view. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, wait, I'm not ready for this. Why am I nervous? I have this much of the book left. Like, I can't believe I basically finished this in a day. Stop. Is she Claire? She's Claire, isn't she? She's Claire. Oh my god. No! Stop, wait, I'm actually crying now. <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a full circle moment.
may be a small piece of a time, but my past is yours now, all of it. Anything you want to know, I want to tell you. But only if you promise me, I can also have your future. He's so nice. Oh my god. He said it. He said it. He said those three words. He said it. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, he's not. He's not. He's doing it, isn't he? He's doing it. Bruh. How can he do me like that? Stop! I, I mean, look at these clowns the people who haven't read this book. I'm done. Hi! <laughs> it has been a good two months since I filmed the first part of this video and I have no idea why it took me this long. A lot of other things just got in the way. I've been really busy and I just haven't been feeling like sitting down and filming but yeah anyways enough about me let's talk about ugly love by colleen hoover first of all it was a really good book i think that's like the first thing i want to put out there i don't know if i love it as much as i do november 9 and it ends with us i think those two are like my top tier colleen books i think i would rank ugly love like right below those two i did really enjoy reading it i will admit that it was a little bit harder to get into compared to the others i'm not sure why exactly that is i think it might have to do with the fact like i mentioned that it was um kind of dual point of view where it kept going back and forth between um past and present and miles and tate so i think because of that i felt a little bit of a disconnect but i understand why it was written like that and i do think it was very effective especially as it got towards the end and you start to see resemblances between um miles's past relationship and what's currently going on in his life and when the two like intersect i think um it was really well done and the stories flowed very nicely together if that makes sense not even just colleen i think just out of all the books i've read like ever i feel the most connected to tate as a character the whole entire time as you've already seen like i just relate to her so much and i feel like we're literally like the same person i guess the feelings that she was going through throughout the book and the things that she was experiencing I felt like I could relate to a lot because I kind of went through something similar so I think that did have an impact on how I felt as I read through the book because it kind of felt like I was reading about myself in a way just from an outside perspective and so I do have a soft spot for Tate and I don't know, I just feel really happy for her, even though she's not a real person, but it just feels like she's like a real person, you know? I also think that I was super emotional for it. I don't know if it's just because I was filming a vlog or if it was just like late at night and my emotions got the best of me or something like that. Or maybe it's just because I related to Tate so much, but I think I was the most emotional for this one and I cried a lot. <laughs> I guess all in all, I'm really glad that I finally ended up reading the book. I've heard so many good things and it really did not disappoint. It is honestly like one of my favorite books, even if it was not like my favorite favorite. I think I had a lot of high expectations going in and I definitely do think that it lived up to those expectations and all the praise that it's been getting from literally everybody. I'm kind of sorry that it took me this long to express how I feel about it because I feel like if I had 
filmed this earlier i would have had a lot more to talk about because it would have been fresher in my mind so that's on me but yeah i would totally recommend it if you haven't read it already i'm really glad that i read it and i think that you should too and yeah that's about it from me so thank you so much for watching until the end of this video this is my first time doing a reading vlog so if you liked that make sure to let me know so i'll do more it was actually really fun filming all of my reactions and reading along with you guys so i'll definitely try to do more of that in the future if you like this video and you want to see more reading vlogs or vlogs or just more content from me make sure to like comment subscribe and do all the other youtube stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video